Hi, welcome to the tutorial for adding video to enhance uh, a notebook lesson. Um, today I'm going to show you how to choose a video using Power Media Plus. But if you already use Digital Media Library or United Streaming or some other way of accessing uh, digital media, it will work with any of those. If you don't have a way to get a, a um, digital media file, please send me an email when you get to this point in the course and I'll be happy to provide you a username and a password to access Power Media Plus. So I've gone to PowerMediaPlus.com, put in my username and my password, and I'm going to log in. And I'm going to do a search for multiplication. My idea is to um, go ahead and show my students um, some kind of fun video. Multiplication is a little bit of a dry topic, so perhaps a little video on multiplication would be a fun way to start the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this Cyber Chase multiplication video, Send in the Clones. I've already previewed it. Um, it's 30 minutes long. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and, and choose this one. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded this. It took about, I would say, four minutes to download the entire thing. Um, it is definitely worth downloading this video as opposed to just putting in a hyperlink into your file to this website because every time you do that you're going to have to still log yourself in, get to this point, and then, um, and then choose uh, the video. Also with Power Media Plus, you can see that if I just want a segment of this video, um, perhaps I don't want to show the whole 30 minutes. I can choose to, to just download a clip. In this case, I'm going to choose the whole video. So I'm clicking on download. It gives you some directions. Right click, save link as. And when I uh, click save, it's going to start downloading it to my desktop or wherever you choose to send it. I've already downloaded the video so I'm going to bypass this step and you can see the video is already here the cyber chase video so now I'm going back to my file and I'm going to choose to link the video right to my header my heading title one of the ways to embed the video is to use the attachment tab here and insert a copy of the video file right into the Smart Notebook file. The benefits of doing that are that if I ever move this notebook file, um, the multiplication video will travel with it. So I don't have to worry about downloading the Smart Notebook file and then also downloading the video file. Perhaps I'm making a CD or I want to put it onto my memory stick to transport it to school. I only need to worry about downloading the notebook file. So that's the benefit of making an attachment here. Now the rest is very simple. I'm just going to link the words multiplication to um, a current attachment. I already have the multiplication video there. And you can see the, the little paper clip comes up that there's an attachment for the movie. And if I click on that, my movie will play. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The other way, I have, happen to have another video on my desktop so I can show you the other option. Uh, click here for video. That's another way that you can do this. Um, and then I can link to a file on my computer. Okay, and I can insert it as a copy of the file, okay, and that will bring it in as an attachment or a shortcut to the file. Okay, and I'm going to browse for that other video. Uh, it's this one. Okay, and so the other option, if I click on this paper clip, it's actually accessing the video off of my desktop. Okay. Again, this is not the preferred way because if I download this Smart Notebook file, this, this link will not work unless I also remember to download the, the um, video file as well. So it's much safer for you to include it as an attachment. 
and that's all for adding video.